Hey everyone, happy new year and welcome to Figure Story. So Figure Story is the Japanese version of Figure Fantasy and two new units drop today in their server. I'm actually excited for these two to drop in global, but uh, let's take a peek first on why I'm so excited about these two. Okay, let's start with S dash V. I, I actually I, 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 I was mistaken in um, in the teaser that I made I was I said out the the names of the the character uh, voiceovers for the figure but these are their names it's it's not that one so I'm gonna show you guys a translation that I did for this girl so S is uh, night nine she is Vanguard her basic attack is current enemy in the same row. She attacks, levels up, um, up to 1 and 2, uh, maximum plus 50% attack damage. So again, basic attack damage. Um, next is her ultimate, attracts current target for 3 to 3.5 seconds and damages it at the end of the effect. So more or less, what I understand here, she taunts it, she attracts it so that that target attacks her alone. Okay, if the target dies, it damages adjacent enemies as well. So death, then damage to the rest right behind her or right beside her. Okay, so level 1 for this ultimate, if you want to upgrade it, is increase attack speed versus target by 100%. And that is actually very quick. It's good to put um, her in lifesteal set. Because this will really reap benefits for her. Level 2 for ultimate is in target takes damage every time they do a basic attack. Okay, so if your enemy does a basic attack, they take damage in return. So that is her ultimate. Not that bad. Um, it, it's, really good. it's really expected as a vanguard. For her passive, guys, it's going to be... 25% chance that a basic attack will do more damage to current and the target behind it. Okay, so it, I think it, it can damage uh, another target at the back. I'm not sure if it's, it goes through up to the third one at the back. Um, heals um, self according to the damage as well. So again, uh, lifesteal is, I think, appropriate or attack speed. Uh, could be any of those two. When the ultimate is, is activated, normal attacks becomes two attacks for 3.5 seconds. So your normal attack basically doubles. So again, her kit is really bringing in a lot of attacks as quick and as many as possible. So when, pass when your passive is activated, attack speed increases by 8% and stacks up to 5 times, which is roughly around 5 times 8. That's 40%, a maximum 40% in attack speed so again attack speed is one of her buffs let's go uh, next to her special which is down here increases evasion rate by 15 percent and recovers hp after the evasion so again attack speed multiple attacks increase attacks hp recovery that's the theme of her kit. And level up effects for her um, special is increase on attack by 5% and defense by 10. And evasion rate is up by 20% if you want to take it to level 2. So my rating for her is uh, she's good for PvP and PvE. Um, especially if you're looking for another Night 9 character. But... More, more or less, um, they're really hard to level up or to scale up in terms of tier or level because, again, uh, copies of them are very hard. So, uh, also, rating is a 7 out of 10. She's a bit, uh, slightly a bit higher than your average uh, Vanguard. Not, not too impressive, but also kind of unique enough that you would want to bring her okay she will eventually be landing in tier a or tier b depending on how you're gonna be using her in the future so that is it for s8 nine night she's a vanguard so hopefully we could get her in um, in global very soon um hopefully next year or next year because uh, we do lack really a lot of new heroes or new figures in uh, our global game. 
Okay, so let's move on to the next one. This is the other one that I'm talking about. I'm more hyped about her kit and also how she is built, how she looks. As you can see here, I really like the way she is designed more than S. Um, I like her weapon. It's a very big... Uh, I don't know what you call this weapon. Really don't know. But it's a defensive weapon. It's an arc and it's very heavy. So really like her design. I also like, um, oh, what do you call this? I like the animations that I saw in the YouTube video for her. But uh, let's talk about uh, talk about her name first. Her name is Deer. Okay, don't laugh. She's going to be good, but she's going to be she's going to belong to Tenma, and she is a tank. So. She, again, a lot of people have been saying that it's unfair that Tenma gets another, you know, another figure that is strong. Um, she is actually a tank or a defender and she will complement uh, Krusos, by the way. Um, and you might not need Megan in that lineup or you may pair her with Megan if you want to. So, again, uh, this this. Her kit is going to be game changing. Let's uh, take a look at it. Uh, basic attack, current enemy in the same row. Um, level up to plus fifty percent attack damage if you have that skill at uh, level two. Her ultimate is a massive damage to the current target, so tw uh, the target right in front of her. Level one, if you decide to upgrade, is a damage increased by thirty six percent. Protection given to allies when using the ultimate. Next damage received is reduced by 50%. Imagine that. 50%. So any damage that comes her way within the time of the ultimate is reduced to 50%. That is how she is impactful in your whole lineup. Especially if you're bringing Tenma. Okay? So, level 2, when a Tenma ally activates an ultimate. So, as I've said, she's best with a Tenma team. So, uh, when they activate an ultimate, any Tenma ally, 50% chance that the ultimate of Deer will be increased by 30%. Stacks up to 3 times. So, this is going to be up to 90%. So, again, it really gives her another boost once um allies of tenma of a tenma brand uh, activate their ultimate so again i'm impressed by her ultimate alone let's go to her passive at the beginning of the battle when an ally activates an ultimate uh, deer recovers 25 energy so again she's very centered on allies and buffs giving to allies and buffs given to her damage taken is reduced by 16 percent so again she has damage reduction as well for five seconds and can stack up to six times which can reach up to around uh, 64 percent so again a nice passive to have to add to her survivability then you have healing of course with her then you have badges that you know makes her really really crazy vulnerable and again she's good she's gonna be good so uh what i see in her in her kit is if you pair her with erixia erixia is has shared health while she has damage reduction ain't that crazy right so that combo will really 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 you know uh be a head scratcher when they arrive in global i'm actually a bit envious of uh, the japanese server right now they get to you know play uh, or to have her in their team i'm also trying to play the japanese version um if i have time but uh, definitely i'm going to be all out with the global version so let's uh, move on to her special when attacked there is a 25 chance that damage will be reduced by 50 percent okay so again another damage reduction effect so level of effect increase on critical damage and defense by 10 when attacked there is a 35 chance that the damage will be reduced by 50 percent so again damage reduction is the key for her kit so buffs as well and when her allies do does ultimate she gets buffs as well so interesting kit 
I think she's she has a very interesting kit. Really, I think gonna shine for both PvP and PvE. So let us see my rating down here. Um, rating is definitely a nine out of ten. Or uh, I'll put here a ten. Definitely, she's going to be a ten. Upon reading again her kit, um, if you pair her with Erixia, definitely they're going to be a headache. Both of them. Then you have um, Zephyr. Also, you put in Zerola, you put in Crusos for additional Tenma buffs. Then there you go. She's definitely going to be S tier or SS tier in Japan. And definitely once she arrives in global, I'm going to be getting her for my own team. So that is it, guys. So hope you were able to get some insights from, from Figure Story and the two new units or new figures that just dropped today in their game. I'm so, so excited for them for next year. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for staying this, for staying this far. So again, happy new year to all of you. Hope to see you guys next year. And um, also, guys, don't forget, before the year ends, please do subscribe to my channel because this helps my channel a lot. And thank you guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.